welcome, I'm Carbon Chili, and this is the extravaganza that is my channel, where we play professional games unprofessionally. So, today I was looking on Steam and I came across this game called Chromosome Evil. Now, it, uh, it came out on the 24th of March uh, this year. Uh, I believe it's been in early access for a little while. Um, I have seen one or two videos kicking about. It's a kind of uh, Lovecraftian-inspired RTS pixel game, top-down. Um, and it did look like it uh, may tickle my fancy a little bit. So we're going to have a look at it today and see if it's something that we might turn into a series. So as always, I'm playing absolutely blind and we shall see how far we actually get without getting killed as normal. So let's get started. So, we, I haven't actually looked, as I said, so we're going with a new game. It was a beautiful spring day. Nobody knows the exact order of events that took place that clear sunny day. What, what they do know is that all of a sudden the sky turned dark. All televisions and communication, de communications devices stopped working, hijacked by an unknown force. The devices had begun repeating a single message. The Ancient One is coming. Followed by this message came a collapse of the global satellite communi communication network and a complete power blackout. There was a great moment of, moment of silence and then they came. They came from below, digging their way out. First, they were just worms that spread via an infection. This infection would trigger an incubation to occur in the brain and in time spawn more worms. At first, the worms would devour the brain from within and take control of the host body. With a desire to infect other humans, they would then consume their victim's flesh. The lack of a network communication system accompanied by the global threat posed by the worms had proven too much for the governments of Earth to handle, and one by one they had fallen. In a matter of days, human civilization had fallen back to an intellectual darkness only comparable to the medieval times. The civilians banded together into strongholds. You are one of the few remaining army forces now searching for your missing brother, last seen on a mission to gather intel heading towards the epicenter of this cataclysmic event. With his last known location being only miles from your posting, you have decided that if the world is ending, you will see through one last deadly journey if only to see your brother one last time. What do we want to call ourselves? Uh, well, we're going to call ourselves Carbon Chili. Uh, you wake up motivated to start your journey. In addition to your trusted soldier, what other team member would you like to recruit? Oh, well, I think a medic. Uh, a medic? Yeah, a medic. Now you need to pack what resources you would you consider a priority. Uh, forks and knives, you need bullets, medicine, or fuel. Oh, now that is a very... Do you know what? I'm going to go for medicine again. How would you spare... How would you use the spare time before starting the journey? Last minute survival training. Pack more combat equipment. I will leave earlier to earn more time. Hmm. This feels a li little like one of those multiple choice questions, you know, like the fox and the chicken and the eggs crossing the river, and one of them is the right answer. Now, I feel that people would do this or this, 
But the right answer is to leave earlier. So I'm going to leave earlier. Before we go any further, I want to thank you for volunteering on this mission. No need to thank me. Your brother saved my life many times. I owe him this much. I do not know your brother, but I know you, and that is enough for me. Besides, someone needs to drive this Trojan while you issue battlefield commands. First minute in this adventure, and I already feel this is going to be a one-way trip. Makes no difference. We are losing this war. At least this way we may have a shot at some sort of redemption. Maybe we have more than that. Let's not forget that the target destination is also the zero point of origin for all this chaos. Carbon Chile, we are approaching the infected zone. I think it's time to activate the battlefield interface. Okay, so, roger that. Character status, squad navigation, resource tab. Okay, so... Uh, click him and then right mark. Man, I will guide you outside, but regarding engagement, if any of those things enter your rig, shoot them on sight. Okay, and... You also want to loot as well. Everybody wants to loot. Uh, this channel will be long and we need to scavenge for resources along the way, so stay sharp and don't waste bullets. Carbon Chili, before we move any further, I must remind you that we must do a last check on the engine. Sure, stop the Trojan and prepare for deployment. This is a good opportunity to test the command system. Okay, copy that. Opening deployment gate. You two. Now we should be going outside. Okay, so now we're outside. Uh, send a character to interact with this thing. So you interact with this thing. First contact. Keep distance. Avoid close combat as much as possible. But I don't see any. Very good. Very good. Don't waste bullets. I guess more privacy sent which will try to send faster the project progress, okay? <coughs> but we need uh, one person to be guarding. Quite obviously. Be keeping an eye on things. Uh, okay, during the interaction, the character is vulnerable, so always. Ooh. You don't need to that, buddy. Mm, maybe the shotgun is better. to evacuate you now. Come on. Get back in the vehicle. Okay, simply move. Okay, action points. You are currently available. AP is shown in the white 
exploration. Recruitment and saving requires that you have AP. Every action on the main ha map has the AP cost shown adjacent to it, and there is only a limited amount of AP you have per day or location. For now, you only receive three AP a day. This can be permanently or ter temporarily increased later by use of upgrades or through certain special encounters. When your APs are depleted, you will be forced onward to the next day in location. Right. So, where do we want to go? Mission critical, optional exploration, um, optional exploration, we're here, so really we want to go here. Optional locations are good for acquiring resources. Da -da, the objects are necessary for secondary missions may also be found in such locations. It costs action points and additional bullets when defending. There are multiple play styles you can adopt based on your choices and squad composition. Don't be greedy, the game will punish you for bad tactical decisions. That's me, buggered then. Upon entering the building, your squad encountered the grotesque smell of rotten flesh, which makes them uncomfortable and affects the morale. The miasma affects the squad morale. Okay, perfect. We have the driver. Can I multiple select? Where are you? I mean, something doesn't sound very nice. Hold Well, if he's the only one shooting, why don't we put this on as well? So. Let's go in here. Can we open this door? Ah, and this is an interaction. Okay, so these look like crates. Uh, ah, there's the deployment zone. I see it now. Okay. Uh, these are my resources over here. Perfect. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, I have to say. What we got in the boxes? I see no clear path. Why don't you open that door? You get this on. Yeah, I thought we were going to go around. Perfect. Door open. Nothing, nothing. Maybe we should consider retreating before more of the world. I'm waiting. Whoa. Run away. Expeditious retreat. Expeditious retreat. Yet again. Do you know what? I am terrible. I'm such a chicken. These games are not for me. Mandatory locations are part of the main journey and cannot be avoided. They are gates to the next zones and critical scenarios. Mandatory locations will be unlocked after all action points are used up. After you leave a zone, you can never come back to it. Spend your action points wisely. You see a signal flare in the distance and decide to investigate. As your men move, you ask them to search for additional shotgun shells. <coughs> your troops found some shotgun shells during the operation and have reached the designated area. Okay. So, I guess... Barricades provide protection. They can be built and repaired. Okay. 
bullets. Extract the survivor. Ah, this guy here. There's more in here. Get that door open. Get that door open. Interact, Recon. Help me, help me! Come on. Extract, strike team. Get out of here. Grab some more. Grab some more bullets if you can. Where the, where the hell is the truck? Where the hell is the truck? It's over here. I thought it was. Here. Only an engineer can do that. Well, that's maybe why we should have got an engineer and not a medic. We will have to go around somehow. Not totally sure how, but we can do it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Slower than a... Oh, there's, a lot. there's an awful lot there. Possibility of moving there. How the ah, through here. Through here. That next wave is is is, is like a like a, a, a torrent of them. Come on, come on, very good. Extract, extract. Whee! Very good. Oh, he looks cool. So, as you debrief the driver, you discover that he was Beta Squad's Trojan APC driver. You learn that they had two missions, one to take samples aiding the development of a vaccine, and the other to re-establish the satellite network. Unfortunately, one of Beta Squad's members became an infected with no one recognizing the symptoms until it was too late. The driver shows you on the map where the Trojan was abandoned and informs you that it contains special equipment that may help you upgrade your squad's kit. Move. Uh, explore a little bit. Uh, the progress tab contains essential information about your journey and progress you have made toward the completion of certain objectives. The first slot displays the number of days left until you reach your final destination. Ensure that your squad is well prepared for this day and whatever it may bring. The second and third squad slots display secondary objectives. Uh, the satellite network and vaccine development quests are not critical, though they will affect the end of the game. So, 17 days till final confrontation. Uh, yeah, what cultural? You managed to enter the building without incident. Incoming. Our 
trade it away. Yeah, but we don't have an engineer. Are they going to come through here? I mean, I can't necessarily see the point of these missions if... if can't actually see around, can we? We can't go through there, but they can go through there. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really nice. Uh, so maybe I picked the wrong thing to uh, interact. Him. Come on, medic, medic. Uh, you put your gun back on now. One perfect slow heal, but it's working. Okay, that'll do. That'll diddle dem de do. You come and defend him. Come all this way spending an action point for nothing. Let me go and interact with that. You come and stand here. Oh no, we don't stand here. So a lot of I absolutely knew it wouldn't take me that long. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there for today after that and come back with a fresher mind. So, I've been Carbon Chili, you've been the audience, and this has been Chromosome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.